Jive Hive Jeff from Two Hex Garage. Well, I'm back at Jimmy's shop and we're going to do some more head work today. So what we're going to do with these cylinder heads, as you've shown, we already port matched the intake side. Still got to clean those up a bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the bowls in here. So let me show you what we got going on. And it's kind of important of what we're doing here. So when Jimmy started looking at these heads, and as you guys had seen, I had done a head review on these and was talking a little bit about the bowls. So let me kind of get in here a little bit more and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you see the valve seats right here on these, and you can see there's a, a lip back up in here all the way through here. It's just kind of, you know, not a really good casting. And that, that lip, especially right there past that valve seat, that's restricting flow as you can see through here you know comes right out here on the intake side so what we're going to do is we're going to start removing those lips in here and even on the intake side just to get better flow um, i'm going to have jimmy do this he doesn't want me to get in the valve seats and you know he's been doing this a lot more than i have so you know what I'm gonna let him do it because of his expertise but when you come through here you can literally see there's that ridge Come in here just a little bit closer so you can see that's a better shot right there so if you look on that side where my fingers coming up you see that ridge right in there that's exact that's actually pushed past the valve seat so to actually make these things flow a little bit better we're going to start removing those ridges in there opening up these bowls just a little bit just to get a little bit more flow in these so i tell you what guys it's going to be a long day again Let's get in here and start cleaning all of this up. See you in a few. As you can see in that video, Jimmy went in there with the die grinder and he cleaned up all the valve bowl areas and all that. And he also did show me kind of using a sandy disc how to clean it that all up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show that in another video of going in there and getting all that cleaned up. And, you know, just so it flows a lot better. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Really got everything opened up. As you could see in those pictures in the first video I did, how much of a ridge and how much obstruction there was so let's see actually what he did with these
So if you can see in here, we'll look at one of these bowls here. You saw in that original video where in these areas here and here and pretty much all around this, there was like, like a ridge and it was actually brought out. Um, what he did is he got in here and he ground it all out on both sides of that and kind of opened up these ports a little bit also in back in here. The one thing you do got to be careful with is you don't want to hit your valve seat in here. You want to stay kind of below this line and get all that cleaned up, ground out, and, you know, that way it has a little bit better of a flow. Let's see if I can get a little bit better view in here with that. So, yeah, um, all of that now is gone in here. Same thing with the exhaust side. So these are going to have a lot better flow. As you saw in the video, he did take a Dremel with probably like a 60 grit grinding wheel and he cleaned up his grinding flash on there. Um, I'm going to do a video on that and kind of go into explaining just a little bit more versus kind of like the port and polish when it comes to intake and exhaust side. But as far as what we did today, we went ahead and got these cleaned up, opened up, going to have a lot more flow. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, um, sorry about the really crappy camera work right now. It's just me. Um, so yeah, that is how, in a nutshell, you go into your valve bowls, remove all that excess material that is obstructing the flow. Pretty simple. It takes a little time. Um, like I said, Jimmy went ahead and he did this work because it is intricate and he wanted me to stay away from the seats and really wanted to show me on these. Now, I do have some extra heads that, you know, winter time, I'm going to practice more with these because I do have a small block Chevy to build for somebody. But yeah, so that was today's work on that. Um, kind of the next steps is, is we're going to go in and we're going to clean up the intake ports on these and get these a little bit more cleaned up. And just a side note. I did check the intake again with the gaskets. Not 100% happy with it. Like I said, I did check it before, uh, but I also said I was going to recheck it. Well, guess what? I rechecked it. Not happy. So I'm going to do a video on port matching the actual intake to what we did with these heads. Um, hope you guys learned something. If not, glad you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, that's it. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>